portal hypertension is a sign that the blood flow through the liver has been blocked. New pathways form, called shunts, to get around the blockage. The blockage must be fixed by surgery, and the shunts must be closed off as well to return normal blood flow to the liver. On the left is an anatomical view of an infant, and on the right is a simplified diagram of its blood flow. After our hearts pump out blood, it flows to every organ and tissue in our bodies, including the intestines and the liver before returning again to the heart. As blood returns from the intestines, it passes through a special vein called the portal vein, which collects all the blood from the intestines and filters it through the liver. Then, the blood leaves the liver and joins blood from the rest of the body before returning again to the heart. About a quarter of our blood passes through the liver via the portal vein. However, a blockage in the portal vein, or liver disease, can significantly slow down the flow of blood through the liver like a traffic jam. Over time, this makes the blood pressure increase in the portal vein. This is called portal hypertension. Blockages in the liver most commonly come from cirrhosis or scarring of the liver, and a variety of diseases can also contribute to portal hypertension. Eventually, the body starts looking for ways to relieve the pressure and return blood to the heart. If a blood vessel, even a small one, has a route back to the heart, the body makes it larger and larger to handle more and more blood. This enlarged blood vessel is called a spontaneous portosystemic shunt because the body uses the vessel to shunt, or redirect, blood around the blockage and back towards the heart. Although shunts can grow anywhere, they most commonly grow here, with the most common locations being the umbilical vein and the left gastric vein. Other larger vessels, such as the left renal vein, can be used by the body to shunt blood as well. This new blood flow is how the body works around portal hypertension. However, a long-term solution requires surgical intervention. In the case of cirrhosis, the only way to fix the blockage is to replace the entire liver. After the blockage has been fixed, blood flows freely through the portal vein once more. However, the shunts are still directing blood away from the portal vein. These shunts must be closed off, or ligated, in order for all of the original blood to flow back through the portal vein and into the liver. The closing of shunts happens during whichever procedure is appropriate to fix your child's portal hypertension, such as a liver transplant. During the procedure, each shunt is carefully closed. The closure of these shunts allows the normal flow of blood to be restored. In children, portal hypertension is most commonly caused by liver disease. Children's Hospital Colorado is a front runner in research in methods to fix spontaneous portal systemic shunts during a child's liver transplant. Besides liver disease, 
Many other diseases can lead to portal hypertension as well, such as portal vein thrombosis, thrombophilias, genetic disorders, autoimmune disease, drugs and toxins, and hematologic diseases. At Children's Hospital Colorado, we commonly treat all these disorders. To learn more, call us or visit our website by clicking the links below.